This is Levittown, New York, the first suburb in all of the United States. It was created by William Levitt, the father of modern suburbia, a planned community built between 1947 and 1951. It was regarded as the archetype for post-war suburbs throughout the country. Today, Levittown houses a little over 50,000 people. It is a friendly place filled with hardworking folk, a middle-class society that pulls together during the hard times and celebrates during the good. I grew up here. This is my hometown, and I'm probably no different from you. I went to elementary school. That flagpole right there was where I shared my first kiss. Then there was junior high and high school, where we would cheer the island tree's bulldogs to victory. In the summers, I would bike up to the village green, take my swimming lessons, play basketball with my brother, or just hang out on the swings. And almost every day, the neighborhood kids would get together and we'd play games like elimination and kickball in our yards. And we would see this. We knew what they were there for, but we didn't understand why they had to be so big and so close to our homes. If anything, we wanted to climb them. Good thing we didn't. As the years went by, many people who lived around us, lovely neighbors, kind friends and family would become ill, and too many died. I often wonder, do these power lines have anything to do with human sickness, or is there really nothing to fear? The electromagnetic fields that these power lines emit, are they too strong? Are we too close? Is it as dangerous as some scientists believe? A home is much more than just a place to live. It is a place where you build special memories with family and friends. It is supposed to provide safety and protection from potential danger. It is no surprise that this has become a worldwide crisis, that these power lines have generated intense debate between homeowners, environmentalists, and power company authorities. The only way is to ask the questions and to seek the answers. Let's find out the truth together.